welcome back to the channel my name is tabby so last week we did a video about the eucerin sun fluid and that sunscreen basically gives a horrific purple car so i was just showing you <laughs> cautioning you actually to consider not getting the sunscreen however i did want to do a follow-up video because eucerin is amongst some of the best sunscreens that you will find at the supermarket or at the pharmacy or drugstore whatever it is that you call it they are amongst the best and i have used a number of their sunscreens so i did want to show you some of their best <laughs> i have given one away to my niece so i no longer have this one and i do want to start with it before i forget it this is the let me let me get the name right <clears throat> This is the Eucerin Oil Control Sun Gel Cream Dry Touch. I will put a picture of it here. This sunscreen is a nice hybrid. I think, I think, I think, I think it will work best for both those with dry skin and those with oily skin. It worked for me. I liked it a lot and it did not sting my eye it did not give a white cast it was also not a problem whenever i i would sweat because some sunscreens when i sweat i've said this before and i'm going to say it again when i speak about sunscreen because that is a very important factor for me how the sunscreen behaves when i sweat so <clears throat> some sunscreens when they, when you sweat they start looking like I have products that's just coming out of my pores and I look terrible. The, I do not have an issue with the sunscreen. The only problem that I, I encountered with the sunscreen is that it acted a bit erratically when it was applied on top of certain products. So I would suggest that if you've bought the sunscreen and you're struggling with the peeling, consider just applying the sunscreen on its own. And on its own, it's going to do well because it is relatively moisturizing even for me and my dry skin. And I believe people with oily skin are going to love it as well with or without the moisturizer underneath the sunscreen. The sunscreen is SPF 50 and is also broad spectrum, meaning it will protect you from UVA and UVB rays. Another useful sunscreen that I no longer have, I gave it to my, my baby niece is the sun lotion and it is a kiddish version i had bought that sunscreen because it had no fragrance and i wanted to run away from sunscreens with fragrances but that sunscreen has titanium dioxide and it will show up purple on your skin if you are dark skin it it has a white cast it has a purple cast <laughs> it has a purple cast even if you apply it on your body it will make your legs look look purple so <laughs> i will put a picture of it here but i'm just i'm just i'm just talking about it because i know many of us do tend to buy baby sunscreens when we're running away from fragrance in the in the sunscreens that i made that are meant for adults so that one is not good that one just just pass on it <laughs> now the next sunscreen is the oil control advanced spectral technology for oily acne prone skin it says for oily acne prone skin if you have dry skin don't buy the sunscreen with the green with the with the green column in it i don't know whether to call it a column or not but don't buy the sunscreen with the green it will not work for dry skin this sunscreen no matter how many layers you put as a dry skin type it will not look good on you it will not moisturize your skin you can put weight with moisturizer you can wait on it it's just not gonna work for people with dry skin if you have oily skin and you've been struggling to find a sunscreen that's gonna work for you that is not gonna peel that is not gonna give you white cars that is not gonna make you look oily and greasy and it's gonna be heavy on your skin this is a sunscreen that you need to consider this sunscreen does exactly what it says it's going to do it is a dry touch it is a dry touch again dry skin just don't don't don't, don't leave this for people with oily skin there is enough sunscreens out there for people with dry skin again the the eye irritation factor is there it's not strong enough to warrant well if i had oily skin it wouldn't be a strong argument that would make me not want to purchase the sunscreen again i'm struggling to use the sunscreen because it is just not 
for my skin type even in the summer it is just not it's not <laughs> another sunscreen by Eucerin that I like that will work best for both people with dry and oily skin types is the photo aging control sun lotion extra light this is the sunscreen but i'm gonna try and find pictures to just show you what the 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 sunscreen looks like i can't remember the price i'm also gonna link the price i'm gonna just put the price on the screen for you however this is also another one it applies very light on the skin you for me with dry skin i always find that i have to go in with this twice over because the first application just isn't as moisturizing for me sometimes i do depending on how dry my skin is because you know the skin sometimes behaves erratically depending on the on my cycle so if i'm not particularly too dry that particular day i will go in without the moisturizer but i will layer it twice the first application is going to be two layers however if i am feeling a bit tight that day i will apply it with moisturizer and i found that it worked perfectly well over moisturizer it holds it it, it, it holds well under moisturizer or with no moisturizer at all <clears throat> it also has no white cast it will also not peel on the skin nor will it behave funny when i start when you start sweating i did not experience problems with that either it does sting the eye a little bit however the sting the stingation is not one that is likely to blind you or maybe make you cause an accident if you are on the highway and it suddenly kicks in no i think on a, on a scale of one to five five being like oh my god i am never ever going to buy that sunscreen again i think the sunscreen sits at a solid one because whilst it, it will sting the eye it's really not it's really not what i've experienced with other sunscreens so for dry skin types eucerin gave you the sensitive protect advanced spectrum technology again for sensitive skin it is a sun cream and this one looks like this it's also a 50 ml quite tiny quite tiny <laughs> now oily skin types don't don't i wouldn't recommend this because it is very very thick and very moisturizing you may not really like this because it will it will make you look greasy this is just for dry skin it also has no issues with the peeling it has no issues with when i sweat <laughs> no i cast and it will again like the first the other two it will irritate the eye area a little bit again solid one i i love this the sunscreen has a very nice finish it makes it look like you're walking around with the filter on this is actually my favorite sunscreen by eucerin i think i only have like oh i am almost out of this sunscreen <laughs> I'm almost out of the sunscreen. I think I have like a good five uses out of this before it's completely out. I love the sunscreen. I really love the sunscreen. I didn't I didn't find that it was heavy on my skin. I did not find that it was I did not break out because sometimes sunscreen will make you break out. It will make you react a little bit like the sunscreen I have on today. It's making me look a little rashy. <laughs> But I did not find that my skin was sensitive to this. My skin quite liked this sunscreen. I love the finish of it. I love the finish of it. This is definitely going to be something that I'm going to buy before the beauty phase out. Before the beauty phase ends. So this is for dry skin. Everybody, sensitive protect. High SPF 50 as well. Broad spectrum. All these are SPF 50 and broad spectrum. Now the last sunscreen that I wanted to show you is this body sunscreen. And they call it the dry touch sensitive protect sun gel cream. It looks like this. We are completely out of this. We are completely out of this. I loved this sunscreen in the winter. It was very moisturizing. It hurt the skin so nicely. It applied well on itself. It did not peel it did not this one actually does not sting the eye this is a very good sunscreen it's a good all-arounder you can use it on the face you can use it on the body the only problem that I had was that it behaved this it behaved differently in the summer for me I started using the sunscreen in the summer but in the summer it did it did have that that thing i was talking about earlier where when i sweat it starts looking like product is coming out of my pores it did do that and like i said before why am i spritzing it i am a sweater sometimes 
sunscreen just doesn't look good when you sweat and this was one of those that just didn't look good when I sweat even my boyfriend tried the sunscreen he gave it back to me and he said he just he was not willing to go through with it again I must just get him another sunscreen and I got him the oil control which he liked so yeah I think you will like it if you have dry skin if you have dry skin you will like it in the winter it may react differently on your skin in the summer depending on how much sweat you produce guys i'm a sweater and i work i'm always on the move so when it's hot I, I'm, I'm bound to get a little messy <laughs> it's hard to get messy around here so i do want a sunscreen that behaves so this is going to be my go-to sunscreen for the winter i love it i love everything about the sunscreen in the winter However, I do think that I will give it another try in the summer. Maybe, maybe <laughs> that's not true. I think I say with the sunscreen now that we have become good friends, maybe it may just react differently with me as well in the summer. So I will give it another shot in the summer or on hot days and see how it performs because I love it. It's 200 mils of product for 300 rands. Sunscreen is expensive, guys. And I did say on my Instagram stories that sometimes you just have to be conscious with your purchases and just pass on the good yes a six pack and 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 budget for sunscreen and look out for the specials and buy your sunscreens when they are on special your serene is one of those brands that is always on, on special so if you know that you feel we are paying it or when you must buy sunscreen <laughs> Budget and get sunscreen around the time that it's on special. You saw in sun K, everybody. <laughs> I love you, Jay. <laughs>